Hi all. Welcome to Pinnacle S. This is Mukesh. Today we are going to see interview questions for HVAC, RAC and thermodynamics and this is part number 5. The laws of thermodynamics. First is the zeroth law of thermodynamics. It defines the temperature measurement. Second is the first law of thermodynamics and it defines internal energy. Third is second law of thermodynamics and it defines entropy. And fourth is third law of thermodynamics and it defines absolute zero temperature. So what is zeroth law of thermodynamics? So it is when two systems are each in thermal equilibrium with third system they are also in thermal equilibrium with one another. An application is temperature measurement. Explanation. Suppose this is one system that is uh, A and it is in equilibrium with the uh, system C. The property which defines the system equilibrium is the temperature and it is 24 degrees Celsius. So suppose A is in thermal equilibrium in system C. That means A is in thermal equilibrium in system C. A has temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and hence C has temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. Now as per the law, the B is also in thermal equilibrium with the C that is a system C with temperature of degrees Celsius. So now as well since B is in temp thermal equilibrium with system C the B is also having the temperature 24 degrees Celsius. Hence it is logical and obvious that A and B the both systems are in thermal equilibrium with each other. What is first law of thermodynamics? So, whenever we are going to discuss with interior, just first go for definition and then we can explain it. So, heat and mechanical work are mutually convertible. That is cyclic integral of heat transfer is equal to the cyclic integral of work transfer. That is cyclic integral of del Q is equal to cyclic integral of del W. So, this is how and mechanical work are mutually interconvertible okay so the process should be a cyclic over here that is uh, one of the constraint let's go to the next so another corollary of first law of thermodynamics we are going to explain and discuss over here the energy can neither be created nor destroyed so it can be transferred from one form to another that means energy of the system can be changed from one form to another form it cannot be destroyed it can only transform from one form to like electrical energy to mechanical energy mechanical energy to uh, heat energy and all that when system undergoes a change of state then both heat transfer and work transfer take place the net energy is stored within the system and is known as stored energy or the total energy of system mathematically dq minus dw is equal to de the first law of law of thermodynamics is also known as or it also defines the internal energy what is second law of thermodynamics according to kelvin planck it is impossible to construct an engine working in the cyclic process whose sole process is to convert the heat energy from the single thermal reservoir into the equivalent amount of energy it means it is very obvious that for any engine uh, which is going to work on the cyclic process sole purpose of its sole purpose would be the heat, converting the heat energy from single thermal reservoir into equivalent of amount of work it is so in other words no actual heat engine working on the cyclic process can convert the whole of heat supplied to it into the mechanical work it means that there is degradation of energy in the process of producing the mechanical work from the heat supplied the scaling prime statement of the second 
law of thermodynamics is sometimes known as the law of degradation of energy. So here it is the we are going to explain. So uh, it is the example of the engine. In engine you can the combustion chamber you can see that heat is produced in the combustion chamber and after producing of heat, heat during the expansion and compression the piston movement is done. So that is that means that heat is converted to the mechanical energy and hence the crankshaft and other moment are going to happen but can you see that all heat energy is not converted to the mechanical energy that is heat supplied is not equal to the mechanical energy why the losses like heat losses from the envelope of the engine and friction losses and other efficiency losses are happening in the engine hence the saying that the only us in cyclic process it cannot and there is no engine uh, which produce or which can convert the total heat to the mechanical work also uh, another corollary of second law of thermodynamics can be discussed uh, with the help of statement of Clausius that is according to the Clausius statement it is impossible for the self acting machine working in a cyclic process to transfer heat from the body at lower temperature to the body at a higher temperature without aid of the external energy that is the heat cannot flow itself from the cold body without help of external agency so second law defines the entropy so let's have the explanation over here in first case that is in the left hand side you can see the body at lower temperature which is shown in the green color and the body at higher temperature which is shown in red color it is not possible because there is no other equipment or device which can or without that we can extract the heat at lower temperature to the heat to the body at the higher temperature while at the right hand side you can see that uh, we have used here the representation uh, principles and we are taking the heat from the lower temperature body and we are extracting heat and we are sending it to body at a higher temperature if you know that in a representation principle it is a cyclic process so heat is taken from the lower body to higher body and then again the referent is cycled in a cyclic manner so it is possible uh, in the case where we are using the external agency to take the heat from the lower temperature to higher temperature but if you are not going to take the help of external agency or external engines or compressors or other means it is not possible to take the heat from the lower temperature to higher temperature coming to the entropy second law of thermodynamics defines entropy as well so dq by t does not change in cyclic process that is it is a function of thermodynamic state only therefore it is change in thermodynamic property this property is called entropy as you know that we cannot measure entropy directly we can measure the change in entropy for actual process which is not reversible ds that is entropy that is a change in entropy is greater than dq by t but for the reversible cyclic process it is less than zero which is defined by the clauses in equality that is cyclic integral of dq by t is less than or equal to zero the second law of thermodynamics is also called the limit law this law gives direction that a process can follow so second law of thermodynamics is also known as limit law now what is third law of thermodynamics this law gives the definition of absolute value of entropy and also state that the absolute zero cannot be achieved another version of this law is the entropy of perfect crystal is zero at absolute zero so now the question is the entropy what is entropy entropy is measure of disorder okay and disorder is caused by the moments of the molecule so 
here at the perfect crystal that is at the absolute zero the temperature of our absolute zero the crystal is perfect crystal and it is at the absolute zero temperature so molecule moment is zero therefore the entropy would be zero therefore it is said that or it says that the entropy of perfect crystal is zero at absolute zero temperature so thanks for today if you like the session please press on the like button and subscribe it thanks